You saw it right. This is Streambot running in dark mode. Kinda. Kinda. We're going to show you exactly how to get this today. The app that we're using is called Window Top. It's a free app with a paid version as well, but the stuff you need is pretty much in the free one, so you don't need to worry about that. There's a ton of features in this that do stuff like always on top. You can picture in picture any window. There's a lot of features in there, but the one that we want is more about dark mode all about the dark mode. So basically we can set any window to dark mode. There are some limitations, but it just works straight out of the bag. So if you stay on the home page, all these links are in the description. You can download it from Microsoft or just press this download link, get it all installed. Once installed, you might need to restart your PC and it creates a little app which you'll need to open and then this is the, the tray icon for it. And then when you right click it, the first thing you need to do is say start with Windows. So set it up on start with Windows straight away. And then anytime Windows starts, this app is automatically running. So once you've got it installed, you'll notice on your Windows straight away, on pretty much any window, there'll be this little line, this little arrow that you can just see there. When you highlight over it, this is how you can set your dark mode do your picture in picture and everything like that. Even the opacity of the app itself, which is really cool. So if I bring this down, you can see through the app, which is just, what? This is crazy. There's some really cool features in this. Um, so obviously you all care about dark mode because you're tired of streaming, but not being in dark mode. There's a couple of features with the dark mode. If you hover over it, you can do keep colors and you can do filter images. So obviously this is inverting the window. That's how this works. So it's not perfect. Uh, but these features do make it look better. But I believe the Keep Colors one is a premium version, which you do get 30 days free of the premium version of this app. So you can find out if you do want it. But I still don't think this looks too bad, even though it's inverted all of the other colors on there. But everything that you open, it will show up. There are limitations, though. If I open up the Variables app, it takes a second and then it remembers, oh, this one needs to be in dark mode. So you might get blinded for a second and then it changes. But if you're look prolonging, your you're looking at the screen, obviously it's a lot better to do it. You guys have been seeing me use it on my stream. Another thing to note that's quite important is certain windows will not work with this app, uh, such as the execute code window. So if you write in C sharp code, this window cannot be turned dark mode, but that's not a problem. You guys are not using this to, to, to write code, right? You're doing it in VS Code. You are doing it in VS Code, yeah? There are a ton of settings for this app as well. So if I open up the settings menu and I'll go to all settings, there's a bunch of nice, quick, easy access settings that you might want to get sorted. So I'm gonna click dark mode and it will give you an example of how dark mode works. Everything you want to know about this app, it is well documented inside of here. You can set a hotkey for how you want the dark mode to come on. So I've managed, uh, set to shift and the key, what, whatever key that is next to number one. OEMA, I don't know what that means. Um, and you can set all your settings for this here. So now if I press um, that shortcut, it turns on and off dark mode. It does take a second for it to register. So just bear with it. Uh, there are a few other settings that I would recommend. There's tons to go through. Uh, so I'm not going to go through it all on this video because you only just want to talk about the dark mode, right? Uh, there should be the dark mode. Is this the one that we already looked at? Um, so obviously, some more keep existing colors, avoid inverting and everything like that. Something that some people do and don't like is this little bar at the top. Because um, this is going to appear on every single window, which allows you to obviously do all the different shortcuts. So pressing this one on the left to go to toolbar, you can actually change the theme of it, how you want it to look and everything like that. As you can see, change to, to suit how you want it to look. You can turn it on and off as well, which is really nice. So if you've set dark mode for that window and you've set it on a shortcut, you can easily just set that up to a stream deck button or something like that. And you turn that, uh, that bar off. You can customize what's in the bar as well. So if you only want dark mode, for instance, uh, you can just set it so there's only dark mode in that now. And... That's the only thing you can press, but I just prefer a hotkey, so I turn that off, and that's it. Windows looks normal, and then pressing the shift and this button changes stuff to dark mode and light mode. Like I say, sometimes it can take a few seconds, so a list of everything that the Pro version does is all here as well. 
and you'll be able to obviously decide if the pro version is what you want. I think it's about £10, so it's not an expensive app, and it's a one-time payment. Hopefully this one's helped you. I just want to disclaim this isn't official or anything like that with StreamerBot. This is just an app, a third-party app that, I don't know, you guys really want a dark mode, and you were kicking off about it, so I did some digging and found this. Hopefully you enjoy it. If you do, like the video, also subscribe, share it with a StreamerBot friend, and I will see you in the next one. Put your rug over the stone.